I'm so sorry, Deborah. <laughs> Can I get a signature, sir? For what? <laughs> the most important fight of all. Poverty. Hmm? No, another most important fight. The AIDS. No, no, no another one. Animal welfare. Legalization. Here, sign. Shit, where's my pen? Where's my pen? Legalization of what? Of things the Founding Fathers took as a right to consume medicinal plants. Legalize smoke? Yeah. You fucking kidding me? I make a shitload of money selling that, all right? The last thing I can handle is legalization. Now, fuck off! Take a drag. No, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't smoke it anymore. It interferes with the speed. No, it, it's really good weed. All right, give it here. Yeah. It's a real mellow contemplative high that comes from here. <laughs> Those clowns over there. Yeah. 
over the edge. How many of you sex offenders are there? suppressed <laughs> gosh it's been really interesting talking to you what the fuck was that huh it was horrible well think about what i said
That ain't fair. A T, baby. I'm just trying to tell you I care about you. You care about yourself. I need someone real in my life. We wait. The years on this bullshit and you still the same. I want a family. I need some security in my life. Goodbye, Frank. up and at them. I don't need to think about nuclear war when I'm eating a good-ass hamburger. Riding, smoking and riding, smoking and riding. Yeah. Yeah. I live my love in San Francisco with 10 pounds of endo. I put it on the road with the work, told her hold that first. We'll cash out, get more. Down from the jump, hand on the pump. See my shotgun rider. If a nigga won't fuck, get your ass oh. real shit. Drivers, 
So what's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude our source worked to child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserve to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fools' heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fools' heads, it's assholes' heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planting lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> Shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new mollus, sort of a super mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. And he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using mollus and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man. All right. Fuck it. I got you. I thought that you would. Now, consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs. You know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm going to make the investment. But we don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone.
Let's move it out, people! We need this area cleared! Nearby units report immediately! Oh.